Hello, I'm a research associate of software development at Manchester Met Uni, and I currently work with researchers creating software for researchers who don't have the technical know-how or the time to develop it. And we're currently trying to make all the software developed by myself open access. And kind of as research is moving towards parag the paradigm is shifting towards more open access, kind of we're also thinking about the software itself. And when I've been talking with the researchers itself, they don't know much about how to openly do this, like sharing code on GitHub. And so we're kind of looking at the importance of software development in the research cycle itself, such as how can these practices help, such as kind of like Git flow source control, design patterns itself, and refactoring code. And kind of it helps answer one of the main problems, reproducibility of code. If you share it online, people can download it in your libraries and run your code and run against your research for your papers. Also makes it more maintainable. If it's in a GitHub, people can see it and you can go through your code and find bugs and port it. But also it makes it kind of more readable, especially if you've got papers that are kind of mathematical, notation heavy. People might not understand that when they look through the code, they might be able to relate it back to the paper. Uh, there's also the transparency itself. People can see your code and see what you've actually done. Uh, and how it relates to the paper. But kind of the main thing is people can download your code but expand upon it, especially with design patterns like MVVN or MVP, where people can take it and expand it. Because just one example is I've worked on a whisker tractor and expanded it to do feed tracking as well and get an answer, but also working on unit uh, architecture that's used for lung segmentation and used it for hair colorization. Uh, uh, but if you want to talk to me or chat to me, just come and find me later on. Thank you.